Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from the Violet Lightning who wanted to see the Palace Athena in their personal colors. I do like these colors too, so yeah, I was happy to do that. Um, Palace Athena is a really good support. It's got tremendously damaging missiles that fire all at once, and yeah, do pretty good damage if they land. I only hit, I think, one of them for 1500 damage. And I am running the heck away since we are doing the Ring Around the Rosie part of the uh, Arctic base uh, gameplay. Uh, you'll see me switching weapons a lot in this one just because I'm still not used to the 8-way weapon switching yet. So I, it's nice to have the various weapons uh, on, you know, quick swap uh, like I do. But just sorting out when and where to use them is still a mystery to me. See, tag that cubely pretty good and got the kill. Yep, and now I need to be going this way. I've got missiles to fire if I get a target, and there's a target, so missiles out. And 3,800. I probably hit like two of them that time. And I was trying to fire my big uh, sustained damage beam gun, but it's not the world, but it reloads very quickly, and it does pretty good damage. Yeah, it's already re uh, reloaded and charges quickly, too. So I managed to tag that Zeta and uh, tag the rocket at the same time, so... Not bad. I think that's a Zeta and not a Zeta. No, yeah, it is a Zeta. Zeta Plus would be much worse news for me. See, it managed to stun me with its uh, Wave Rider form, but it's gone all the way over there. Yeah, I'm not even going to need my uh, my rockets to finish that off, so... Alright, time for these missiles again. Missiles, rockets, again. Uh, I, I've had folks very kindly explain me the difference many times, and eventually it will even stick. But... Missiles are out. Tagged a bunch of them at 5,700. Kept the cubely still for me to do another 600 some damage with that. Managed to kill that. I think it was MLRS with uh, my uh, my smaller missiles. And let's see, double beam gun gun is charging. That actually charges slower than the sustained damage gun, honestly. But you don't have to stand still to charge it either, so that's a difference. I'm throwing out various uh, shots because I don't want to fire through my allies if I can help it. I should have fired as that 7th gun that went by. I probably would have killed it. But I'm going to have another opportunity probably. Right now I'm focusing that cubely and I got it. And our missiles are ready. I just need to get clear of the, uh, of the obstacles. It's that Zeta again. And yeah, just waiting for a clear shot. That's, that's mainly it. And if somebody knocks it over or stuns it or has it coming right towards me, no, that didn't take. I feel like it should have. Tried to go in for a downswing. It stunned me. It's probably going to get to kill me. If it doesn't, the stuff behind me sure is. Okay, I got up before it could shoot me. Nothing has killed me yet. It's a shock. And I'm just going to go for as much damage as I can do. And I think at about this point, yeah, that's about when I realized there was stuff behind me and I needed to get, uh, run away. And now I'm nearly dead, so I'm just I'm going to take the sustained damage shot through my ally and said sorry. And got killed before I could follow up on it. Not that we're doing badly for that. 8,500 to 3,600 is a pretty good start. And yeah, I've, I've done fairly well. Gotten a couple of kills. Got, uh, done a good amount of damage. It's it's good to go. Uh, four four and a half minutes left. We are once again in ace matches. So 90 seconds from now, you will uh, see an ace chosen. And yep, just fidgeting while I wait to spawn back in. Long respawn times are the worst. But, yeah, Palace Athena, really good mobile suit. I really enjoy using it, so was happy to see your request for it because I think I've said before, sometimes when I don't get requests from things, it's hard to find, you know, good excuses to bring them out. But if I've got requests, I get to mess with them for a while. I'm pulling back because I thought I could move in and maybe do some damage, but also don't want to get surrounded and killed. Uh, gonna take down that MLRS, though. And I don't... Yeah, they're just now kind of figuring out where I am. And they're coming after me, which hopefully means I'll have a chance to throw some missiles out and actually hit somebody. Uh, yes, but no. No, may, might have hit some at the last second. Either way, I am running away. So, 30 seconds, a selection, and... Yep, just waiting for opportunities here and waiting for it not to get surrounded, hopefully enemy over there. It's the Zeta Gundam again, but I'm going to pull back uh, behind my uh, team, because if I... I'm I'm behind most of my team if I attack from this direction, which is not a bad thing. 3,000 damage. 
another 142 per missile. You can throw out a lot of those in a short period, and became the ace and took no, got the assist on the Kubli. That's right, this was the ace round where uh, my team man, uh, just managed to, we'd end up fight, uh, fighting the same things most of the time, and they'd just get the last word in instead of me, which we've got a lead and we're going to keep it, so I'm not too upset about it, but man, if we had lost, that would have been annoying. See, there's the MLRS, I took a pot shot at it, it's probably not going to connect. Nope, and it is launching missiles at me pretty hard. Which, um, you know, that's its job. I can't really fault it. Was going to focus that, but it's already dead. MLRS is hitting me again. Somebody stunned it, though, so now it's time for my beams. There we go. 1300's not bad. That let another ally again take the kill. But I I, I don't think I have... Uh, Ace can handle this as one of my tells, but I really ought to uh, consider adding it. I wish you could do set up, like, separate pallets and tells to... Uh, use for different modes because you know ace in danger and ace can handle this do you no good in other modes so you know give me give me a special palette just for ace matches one just for basic one just for simple but i can't say we're doing badly though for uh for uh you know everybody uh getting the uh kills instead of me i'm about to make a terrible mistake though because i'm getting focused also i'm getting stuck on allies trying to uh, back up which is not good falling down here. Somebody's coming down after me. I was not quite prepared to fire and they managed to break my uh, charge. But I'm just going to wait for uh, somebody to come around this corner at me so I can beam them. Or, you know, tag that Zeta as it comes up. It's, yep, got it out of the sky and big swing. Yep. Okay, not sure that actually took, but I'm going to wait. I think I got my missiles off right before I dropped, so that will at least do some decent damage. Maybe get me some more assists if all goes well. But yeah, the uh, yeah, what we're just not doing too uh, well at coordinating kills. But it's not not quite as much of a thing as it was in that Afrique custom round. It's just it's just more a question of bad timing more than people not paying attention in this one. I feel. And yeah, so 40 some seconds left. I'm about to drop back in and see where I can do some damage. We've got a 6,000 point lead that I would like to keep, and I'm going to see what I can do about that. Uh, let's see, the ace is nearly dead. Somebody got him. That's fine. And... Missile's out. Managed to go totally around it in every direction. And... I just flubbed my weapons there. I was trying to use that beam gun and finish that MLRS off, which again, somebody else just did for me. And I uh, moved to the wrong beam gun and accidentally sat there failing to charge a must-charge weapon. And... Beams... Did get that kill, though, at the end, which was a nice feeling. So, yeah, not terrible, just not great coordination with the team at the end. And uh, so many times I end up the ace, and, it uh, and I end up feeling like I did my best work before I was the ace. It happens. But, yeah, that other Kubli that killed the ace, uh, the enemy ace, got top score and top damage. I was at half as much damage and got, like, six kills. Uh, and, no, five kills and two deaths, so not terrible. But hope you like the round lightning, and that is going to do it for today's Gun and Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I'll be honest, I have always liked high risk reward weapons like the Palace Athena's missile launcher. Uh, you've, well, you've seen me using the uh, troll gun with the uh, Jim White Dingo, but just even as far back as the. Uh, fixed dice in Final Fantasy 6. I love those things because they would, uh, they would, uh, you know, do a random amount of damage from like a couple hundred to 99.99. And let me tell you, if you combine those with the offering, which lets you attack four times in a row, the offering usually divides your damage four ways, but since there's no formula to do that with the fixed dice, you can do some devastating things with that combination.